Well, the great thing about the chaplain program at Signature Healthcare of Georgetown is that we get to meet a lot of different people, provide a lot of different kinds of spirituality uh, to different kinds of needs, uh, addressing a lot of issues that people face in the long-term care facility like we are and uh, rehab facility. We try to meet people where they are uh, with their own spiritual needs, try to uh, encourage them along their journey of faith. Uh, we don't proselytize, we just try to help them in their own discovery. Uh, many folks just need the assurance that God is with them. And uh, while there are other local pastors who help provide that service, uh, we're there uh, 24 seven to help provide that for them uh, when the need arises. And that is unique in long-term care to have someone available like that. And uh, I get that privilege and joy of being the chaplain there. Uh, have the, the honor, I think, of serving with some great, great people on the team. And we work together. Uh, I can be drawn in to help in the, the rehab uh, uh, in the therapy center and to provide some encouragement there along the way. And just to really be a friend, someone just to listen to talk to and just, as we say, hang out with. So that's something I enjoy doing. And uh, it's, a, it's a great blessing to me uh, as much, probably more so than it is to the residents and the stakeholders I work with. Just a great win-win situation all the way around. Well, the kind of services we provide in our spirituality department, uh, one is one-on-one -on -one contacts where we visit with the residents and make contact on a daily basis and uh, kind of assess where they are and, and again, just to see what needs that they, they might have and try to, on a daily basis, just uh, uh, provide that friendship factor. Uh, we have a communion or Lord's Supper service twice a month, uh, which all the residents are invited to and uh, we uh, share with them uh, again in that respect to promote their own spirituality. Uh, we're not trying to become their church, uh, but we uh, provide prayer service. We have worship services. A number of local churches come in and they provide worship as well. Uh, come in doing visits in the rooms. Uh, it's kind of both uh, in our dining area, we have a corporate worship service. We have uh, in the rooms. We have Bible studies sometimes throughout the facility as just different residents gather together and we share in Bible study and Bible reading. Uh, one aspect of our care goes beyond the facility. On the premises, we uh, provide care in the hospital as well uh, to go and visit and provide prayer support and encouragement. And again, it's to meet the person in their own need, where they're at. And uh, you're not trying to make anyone like us or like myself it's just more or less to provide that support uh, and uh, integrate, again, all aspects of, of their care so that they realize that they're not alone and that there are people who are concerned about them. Well, a typical day at, uh, at Georgetown uh, would be arriving a little before nine o'clock and. There are a number of meetings I also uh, attend and as part of the, the clinical team where the care of the resident is, is discussed in a very private setting. And uh, if there are particular needs among the residents, I go to talk to those first uh, just to see how they're doing. If someone is in a, maybe uh, feeling lonely or just some particular crisis has arisen there or maybe with their family. Uh, go in to try to encourage them and again provide that support to know that they're not away from their family. They have someone who can connect for them. So the day kind of begins again at 845 time and goes meetings and we do full life conferences. I'm part of the again the team uh, where their care holistically is, uh, is discussed and shared and uh, going room to room making the rounds uh, from day to day, there are a number of activities uh, through our quality of life department that I'll participate in. Uh, we may be playing bingo one day and just assisting in that, uh, just uh, visiting the, the rehab department and uh, visiting with the residents there to again uh, just to, to connect with them the best way that we can. And uh, that's the one thing I never want anyone to feel as if they're alone, that there is someone there and a family can't be there every day, that they have a family there at Signature who will be there for them 
And uh, it's not a job, it's really a, a love we all have and uh, a ministry for me that I enjoy very, very much. Well, the level of care that we wish to provide is, goes beyond uh, just the day-to-day -day care while a resident's with us. There are unfortunate times when a resident does pass away and we provide bereavement counseling uh, to their family. Uh, it's a very sad time, a hard time, not only for the family, but for us as a signature family as well because we come to love that resident and the family's loss becomes our loss as well. So we, to the best of our ability, provide a, a counseling or bereavement uh, counsel to them uh, to assist in that process because grief is not something that happens just in a very a short time. It's, it's a long period of adjustment. So we provide that, offer that to every family to continue on with that relationship. Uh, we're about relationships and about building those and, uh, and seeing that they do continue on uh, beyond uh, the discharge of a resident or if the resident and their loved one passes away. Uh, we're there to support them, pray for them, cry with them. And uh, we've been there through the good times and there through the bad times as well. And so that's, uh, that's part of it. And just to be available as best we can to be that shoulder to lean upon and that hand to hold. And we love our residents and we do pray for them and their families always. Well, the, the ministry or the chaplain's role at Signature uh, goes beyond just the work at the facility. Uh, I also serve as a local pastor uh, in the community. Uh, provides, again, another avenue of ministry, and sometimes those do overlap. Uh, may have residents who may also be persons I've known from other, other areas in church life. So I'm involved in that aspect as a pastor, also involved in some local food ministries. Uh, involving with families uh, who maybe have uh, uh, issues or problems uh, dealing with uh, providing themselves enough food, clothes, and monetary assistance. We have a uh, ministerial association uh, in our community, which I'm involved, and that provides another avenue of working together. So often we think that we're the only resource, when really it's, a, it's bring all the resources together that we can uh, to build support for the families, for their loved ones, and for our facility. Uh, you can have a rather diverse population and uh, among denominational needs, you don't know everything. So as many folks as can be involved is a support to myself and uh, to our quality of life team. It's a great, great win situation for us all. Uh, so in that, we're not isolating ourselves to say we're the only nursing home in town or we're the only place to come. There are many great avenues of spiritual uh, service and support and encouragement to our residents, and we like to draw from all that we can. It benefits them and benefits us as well. <laughs>